guys, and welcome to another Doctor Who Classic Series action figure review. Today I'm going to be looking at the latest uh, Underground Toys Forbidden Planet exclusive release, which is the first Doctor, as portrayed by William Hartnell, from An Unearthly Child, or 100,000 BC, or the Tribe of Gum, whatever you want to call it. Um, the packaging says the pilot episode, An Unearthly Child, Technically, it can't be the pilot episode due to the fact that he's wearing his um, his cravat thing um, on the figure from the actual first episode, An Unearthly Child, whereas in the pilot he wears a proper tie. So this is actually the costume we first see the Doctor in. It's his hat, scarf, cloak, and his just traditional outfit that he wears underneath, but this time with the coat done up. So I'll very quickly go through the articulation of this figure. If I just remove his stick. Um, the shoulders can't do 360s because the cape um, gets in the way. Uh, I, you can't remove the cape normally. Uh, the head seems to be on quite tight. It doesn't seem to be removable, so the cloak stays on. Um, it's just made of a very thin piece of rubber with the scarf sculpted directly onto it, but they've just sort of let let it overhang like this. So you have it go like that. It gives it a sense of realism. Much like the Pyramids of Mars Tom Baker, they haven't painted the other side, um, obviously to keep the uh, costs down. So it's just the general articulation for this figure. Uh, the head, however, that might be able to do a 360. I don't really want to push it too much, but it just sort of generally just goes from side to side. So the detail on this figure is excellent. The likeness of William Hartnell is very similar to the one on the previous release. However, the sculpt seems s slightly more detailed. You can see more of the lines and things. They come up better on this sculpt for some reason, but it is a very, uh, very good likeness of of Bill Hartnell. They've even lengthened the hair at the back to match the longer wig that he wore during his uh, first few episodes. Uh, the hat's very good, it's got a very nice texture to it, which looks really good. Ooh, nearly dropped him. The cloak, as I said, is just thin rubber. The scarf has lots of folds in it and things, so does the cape at the back. The Jacket is practically, the, well, it's meant to be the same as the one on the first release. However, it's a new sculpt as they've made it elongated so that it looks like it's closed shut. Also, the blue of the cravat is now tucked in and over the jacket, and it's actually part of the jacket itself. It's all part of the sculpt. Even has the shirt on underneath. Again, this is all part of the rubber that is the jacket. So basically, the main bulk of this figure is just the jacket on a on a sort of plastic torso. The arms are the same as the previous release. He has the same hands as well, so both rings are there on his little finger and on his middle finger. And the trousers are the same grey check trousers and he's got the same black and brown shoes on. The figure comes with two accessories. The first is his walking stick. It's the same sculpt as the one with the Supreme Dalek from Dalek Invasion of Earth. However, this time it's been moulded in black plastic, well, black rubber, really, so it doesn't snap. Uh, the interesting thing is, is that obviously the First Doctor doesn't have his walking stick in An Unearthly Child because he doesn't get the stick until Marco Polo. But I suppose just a way of reusing an old accessory. The secret accessory, which unfortunately got leaked onto the internet, is a skull. Now for those of you who haven't seen the very first Doctor Who story, this is from parts 3 and 4, possibly part 2 as well, of 100,000 BC, an earthly child, whatever you want to call it, uh, and it's meant to be a skull from the Cave of Skulls, which, uh, spoilers ahead if you haven't seen the story, is where the Doctor, Ian, Barbara and Susan get uh, locked up, and these skulls 
adorn the adorn the walls and the floor of the, the cave. And yeah, it's a nice little accessory. Not really it doesn't really work with the fact that this is the outfit he wears when we see him in the junkyard. Uh, I think someone said on a forum that they'd prefer it if he came with the the painting he was looking at. I don't really think so. I think this is probably better. The interesting thing though about this, um, and it's a nice sculpt, it looks really good, it's got a hole at the bottom and the end of the walking stick fits in the hole quite snug. Now, for those of you who have seen the story, you'll know that the Doctor and Susan and Barbara and Ian, they put the, the skulls on the sticks, on the bits of logs and things that they've got hanging around and that they're given for the fire and uh, yeah they put the skulls on it they set them alight and then it makes it look like they've been killed by the fire to scare the primitive cavemen so I'm not sure if it sorry Bill um, I'm not sure if it was designed with that in mind obviously it doesn't really work seeing as it's his walking stick but if we get the doctor to hold his stick like that. It does sort of work, it looks a bit odd, but overall this is a very nice figure. It's nice to have a variant of William Hartnell. I think the likeness is even better than the the first figure. So that that's an added bonus and it's nice just to have a figure that comes from the very first story. So here's hoping that we see the release of a uh, classic First Doctor TARDIS for this figure to sort of stand with, or even Susan, Barbara and Ian, although that probably won't ever happen. Uh, not anytime soon, anyway. But uh, yeah, I highly recommend this figure. Again, because this is it's an exclusive, it is, uh, I think it's 14.99, so it is slightly more expensive than normal but if you haven't got the f the original first doctor it may be worth tracking this down uh, there are rumors going around that this figure is going to be the figure that's going to be in the 11 doctors box set now i find that highly unlikely that they're going to have an exclusive figure be put in a retail box set so i think if they did do that it would either be a variation of this figure, perhaps the old head without the hat, perhaps not without without the skull and maybe without the stick. So if you're unsure, maybe it would be worth worth waiting to see what's going to come out in the Eleven Doctors set. Um, but I'm not sure. I think maybe the Bill Hartnell has actually sold out by now. So if you do happen to come across this, this figure, yeah, I highly recommend adding him to your collection. Thanks for watching guys, and I shall see you next time in my next review, which will be the Seventh Doctor and Classic TARDIS. Mm -hmm.